All right, welcome back. I have been having a nerve issue on my neck and back, and I'm in a neck brace, so if I talk funny, uh, that's the reason why. Hopefully, y'all are doing well. It's one thing about pain is you definitely don't want anyone else to, to go through it. It's not fun. So today, this morning, we're going to be talking about the DBCC free proc cache. And this is one of the DBCC commands that allows us to clear everything if we like from the cache. We can also clear a specific plan from the cache, a SQL handle or plan handle, and then of course we can clear the resource pool from the plan cache as well. So let's look at an example of this in SQL Server, um, where I first clear one plan, as you see, and then in the next one I clear everything. Now this does have an effect on our system, right? If we had uh, a lot of query plans, this could potentially cause those query plans to recompile. And there is one thing to note too as well, when we're talking about SQL Server 2014 with in-memory tables, as many of you know, we have the natively uh, compiled stored procedures. Uh, FreeProc cache does not clear those statistics for those, okay? So keep that in mind um, if you're trying to clear those, which in general, because uh, those are what, to access in-memory tables, I don't see that would be a, a huge issue. Um, but this is an example where there has there was a bind that I had in the past where the CPU was digging through, um, I don't want to say millions, but I mean it was hundreds of thousands of query plans. And although it's counterintuitive, uh, the DBCC free proc cache actually uh, cleared the cache and the CPU significantly dropped. And it was one of those uh, unusual cases where even though it's pretty much the same query every single time, same parameters, etc., you have a situation where um, uh, plans are being cached differently even though they're exact same and now you have a CPU digging through all of them. That is not something in any way, shape, or form that you want to be going around and, and doing all the time and you have to realize if you do this in production more than likely in your environment it would be very costly but it was one of those unusual situations. So in general I would be very careful about uh, using this. This does require the alter server state permission um, so that's something uh, to consider if you do not have permissions uh, to run it.